Maybe somebody said something. When there are politicians say this are these are hardly regulators, right? So we don't we don't really have a regular bank system. So we have a lot of banks, we have a lot of research to go on. Diddy, we take a look at Diddy. We did uh, spend quite a bit of time, okay? MPEG is a standard, and we spend the time looking at not only the storage of this information, but how do we really find out uh, what is in combinations of the above. And the challenge is that not only a specific database, but the whole World Wide Web out there, we have a big challenge. We really don't know how to really um, have all of this data and be accessible. The guiding motivating challenges are the ones that we started with. Show me pictures of living groups with wet wooded ceilings for homes in Encino with sales price between 500000 and 750000 now available. Well, we, we, we had the technology to live through it. We don't have the implementation of all of these data, but computer science, what we have the answer, we have the answer to this for at least 10 years. Okay, I cannot really get this answer because we have not tagged uh, certain characteristics of objects in the real estate databases. But we know how to do it, right? All you have to do is put a tag in there and then get the index and then you get the answer to this, right? But today I cannot get the answer to this. I can get pictures of the of the living rooms perhaps, but I don't know whether they have wooded ceilings or not. I want wooded ceilings in the living rooms. I'm not looking at living rooms of everything. I want living rooms that have wooded ceilings. Don't waste my time by looking at living rooms of all sorts of things. This is the one that I want. But computer science-wise, we have known how to do this for years. What is the distance from the airport to UCLA? What are the average driving times at the various times of day via best routes? We have made a lot, a lot of advances on this in the latest a GPS system, navigation system, is pretty much the answer. John Wayne is, is, is his question. How do I recommend that? that movie? That is John Wayne. Now, where has, has that actor, John Wayne, who plays a character, where is that, where is that actor shown in charge? So it's not only video analysis, but audio analysis, the multimedia challenge. Okay? So we're not there yet. Look at and show me photos and video segments of the people shaking hands on the beach to show. We're far away from that. Okay, again, if we tag and put the stuff in there in, uh, in the MPEG standard, uh, we can do it. Okay? But in general, we have the, the challenge of how do we recognize that there are people in that, uh, in, in that photo sequence or the shows, the videos, and that furthermore they're shaking hands as opposed to pointing at each other, trying to shoot each other, right? So that, uh, that has a lot of pressure to do. So I keep hammering, we need to get that machine intelligence to really process most of the information, to gather that information for us, okay. and put it into our software system. The next queries are very, very interesting. And that, and uh, you have a better understanding of how far we have progressed. All the time that you spent in class here, the time you spent in doing homework, preparing the term projects, uh, we have seen how far in, in advance we are in what parts of this model they want to take right now. Okay. So thank you very much. I enjoyed very much the class. It's a very special class since this is my last class here at UCLA, as I said. I had the joy of having a lot, a lot of students with me. It's actually thousands of students from many different nationalities. Thousands of students have been hundreds of classes that I've given out. For the years, I've taught many classes, including from a language and system, CS 131. I recently charged it as a teacher. I taught uh, what today is CS 33. I taught classes that we used to have on partial differential equations that were no longer free because my uh, advisor and chair passed away and I taught and forgot how much time this class. And then the class is taken to 41A. Like I said, I'm not really into 41A. Matthew's away to 41A. Well, thank you very much. It's been a joy and a pleasure. Uh, it really has been a, what a right uh, to uh, be able to be with just fantastic minds to be here because you're great students. Uh, don't underestimate yourselves. So even if you're getting all A's, okay, you're still darn good. Otherwise, well, you would not be here. And so it's a joy to be living with just with great minds. And, and I hope I will continue seeing some of you somewhere. Uh, I'll still be around. I will be uh, continuing with some of my research. I'll go ahead and lose space. I will not have all of the students. Students or so, too many are reduced to a few. A few of them, Rachel is one of the last students, so far she's one of the graduate students. Uh, good luck uh, to all of you, and uh, now this one.
you know, also another finalist, and do well. And uh, I'll be around, so you need to talk to me. I'll send you a next quarter, yeah? You just, you just send me an email. So if I have something to send us an email, you cannot have access to it. Maybe you can. I know some of you guys will be looking for committee chair, committee people, and thesis, and dissertations, and so on. And I'll, I'll be available with some of them. I'm sure that I'm doing that very much. I know I'm very committed with some of the research. Some of you are doing the great projects. Second smallest class I am having in all of my 41 years. The next smallest class will actually be 41. All of your class will be big. You probably in a class with about 25, 30 people, and a lot of people trying to come in and not allowing them. And CS143, last quarter, as I said, 85, close to 90 people. That's a lot. Uh, now I have to remember all your faces and the twists and turns, and I've talked to each one of you in my office at least one, one time, and I'm getting to know you. So it's a pleasure.